Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we are doing a quick video on how to schedule your posts specifically on Facebook pages. Facebook pages. <laughs> I need coffee. Here we are on your business page. So, what first thing you need to have set up is a business page. Crystal, do you know if you have a business page or a group? I have a group. You have a group. Okay. So there's a couple of different ways to do it. I'm going to show you on your group first because it is a little bit different on a group versus a page. So this one here is for the group. So first off, find your group. And so I'm going to do mine, the Dancing Avon Lady top picks. And it's this one here. So what happens is you can be interacting as either yourself or as your your branding so i'm going to interact as my branding and what you want to do is you want to go here where it says create a public post you click on that and then you just add in your picture with this button here click there i'm going to go into campaign 25 and so and then you type in your description so whether it be campaign 25 is here for all Make sure you put in your um, Easter link. All right. And then if this was my page, I would actually do it slightly different. OK, now I have been playing around a little bit with how I want to whether or not use a link all the time. But for today's purpose, just to show I'm going to show you guys how to do it like this. Uh, I'm just going to copy this. Just you'll see why in a second. And then in order to schedule, there's this little waffle here. That's a calendar right at the bottom. You click on that and they can just choose your date. So I'm going to choose it for tomorrow. And here I'm going to post it at um, 8 a.m. because it's a brand new campaign. And we're going to schedule. And that's it. That's all you got to do for groups. Okay, so it's really simple, really easy to do. If you go into your scheduled post, you'll see it here. And if you want to change it, you could always reschedule your post here or you can edit the information. Now, sometimes it'll have something that says um, sales format. I usually turn off the sales format just because I don't really like the layout of it personally. And uh, Facebook is a little bit more specific on what you can and cannot sell online. So any of our uh, hemp seed oil products, so for example, the um, the, the face oil, they will not allow that. Even the pink apple hand cream, they have not allowed that one because it's deemed inappropriate. I think it's just, yeah, no, it, it's an innuendo <laughs> more so than anything. <laughs> so it tends to work if I just take off the sales format. So that any questions for the group? No, no, we're good. No? Okay, so now we're going to go into the page because the page is slightly different. And I always encourage everyone to actually have both a page and a group. The reason being is that a page is kind of similar to your storefront. It's how people see something that, like, oh, I'm interested. And then you invite them to walk in the door. All right, so that's how a page kind of works. The It's like window shopping, really. Now, a group is more like when you walk into the store and then you can start having conversations with the different um, associates, the customers, and just kind of get a general vibe on how everything feels within the group, You're creating a community within your store. So that's why I always do the both the group and a page and how you market on both of them are slightly different. If you noticed in the group, I didn't use any hashtags. Okay. I usually put in a couple of like emojis to kind of make it look more fun and festive, but for the page, it is slightly different. So here we are on my dancing Avant lady page. And so what you do is you want to first make sure you are interacting as the dancing Avon lady here. So you'll see that there's a circle here. There's different options. If you want to see what your page looks like from a customer point of view or a visitor, mm -hmm. you click on your regular profile and you see yourself, you'll see it basically as a customer, uh, sorry, as a customer for the most part. Okay. Now, if I change it back to the Dancing Avon lady, I am now an admin. Okay. So what happens here is in order to do the scheduling here, you have to go to your business suite. So you click on the business suite, it'll open up a brand new tab for you. And then you'll see here everything that you've done, how it's working, da, 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 da. But in order to do the scheduled post, you want to click on, once again, that little waffle calendar here that says planner. Click on the planner, and then you'll see all of my previous posts. All right, so I literally, I have a post up every single day. I do this at the beginning of campaign, so I can just set it, forget it, and go back, just interact, and then I create my own stuff. Then here, if I want to, let's say, create a post here, I just click on just the box, really, like the area, 
and then it should load. It's just taking a long time right now because I'm filming this and therefore it's going to be slow, of course. Ah, there we go. Okay, so now here I can decide what day I want it. Yes, I do want to attempt. And uh, here I usually post it at nighttime. So I'm going to do 7 p.m. Right now, the cool thing that I discovered is that, see that? Um, the cool thing I discovered is that it actually gives you the optimal times for your actual page, which I think is super cool because then you know when your audience is online. So I'm going to do that one. I'm going to click save. All right, and then I have the option to post it both on my Instagram that I have linked to this particular Facebook page, or I can just do it on my Facebook page. For this one, I'm just gonna do my Facebook page. I just copy and paste what I did earlier. I'm gonna add in, let's say a couple of emojis because you can go in and you can add in things like that here. All right, and then for this one, I actually add in hashtags. So I'm gonna hashtag myself. Avon lady. I always say hashtag your branding, Avon Canada holidays, holiday shopping. You could add a couple more if you want to, but that's what I do. Then what I end up doing here, I have to add in the photos. I click on add photo. I click here, open, and then I click scheduled post. All right. Once you have it scheduled here, it might take a couple of seconds for it to show up. And see right there. Now, the other great thing about this is that I can actually take this, for example, one of the posts. And if I just like, you know, what, I don't really want it on that day. I prefer to have it on this day. All right. And then at that time I can reschedule it. All right. Just by okay. click and drag. It's so easy. Now I get all of my graphics through my Avon website. Okay. So if once you log into your site, you'll see that you have your Avon Academy. So you can log into your Avon Academy. And um, if you need to know where to find that, I will give send you the link for that. And for people who are watching this online, I'll link it up here for you where to find your Avon Academy and the resources for that. So I literally I do the entire campaign all at once just to make it easy um, and just to just so I can set and forget and focus on other aspects of the business. But this is my my bare butt minimum really is one post per day per platform. So I copy and paste. What I tend to do is I copy and paste. Um, all of the material on every single platform and then I just move it around so that okay. it's not every single platform has the exact same post every single day and so that's okay. what I do and I find that that works for me now whatever works for you let me know in the comment section or if you're watching this video let me know in the comment section what's your favorite way to schedule your posts but I do use different platforms um, business suite is one of them I also use later <laughs> sometimes I'll use Hootsuite I've tried um Planoly as well, but so far I am gravitating towards later.com, um, business suite, and of course just Facebook for the scheduled posts. Any okay. questions? No, I think we're good. Awesome. All right. So thank you so much for watching, guys. If you found this tip helpful, make sure you do let me know. Give me a big fat thumbs up. If you're new to this channel, hit that subscribe button as well as the little bell icon beside it so you never miss a video notification. I do have new videos every week and you never want to miss one of those. If you have any questions about joining your business, please do reach out. I am here to help. You can book a free 15 minute, no obligation, complimentary um, consultation just to see whether or not the Avon business is the right fit for you. The links are all down in the description box and I'll see you next time. Bye.